My name is David Brown. I'm a professor in the biology department and I'm a wildlife ecologist. The process of bird banding uh, begins with first capturing a bird and you can do that with mist nets or some kind of trap. And after you've extracted them from the trap or mist net, which is kind of a tricky process and requires some training, you put them into a holding bag and you bring them back to a banding area. And so at that area, you have some specialized equipment like pliers and the bands that you're going to put on a bird. And um, kind of one bird at a time, you remove them from a bag and you take various measurements. Uh, you determine their age and their sex and you put the bird band on before releasing them again. So that's kind of the whole process in a nutshell. And then the most important steps of it are one, kind of maintaining the welfare of the animals. So we're always thinking about you know, not injuring and making sure we don't cause mortality of birds. We bird band to uh, protect birds. So it's all about conservation. And there's important pieces of information we need about populations and, uh, in order to do good conservation. So we need to know, are populations increasing or decreasing? What is the distribution of, of bird species? And how are they moving around uh, locally and in kind of migration and dispersal? So we can answer lots of different questions with bird banding, and some of them are just fundamental to is what's the population size and is it increasing or decreasing? And then really trying to figure out why. Uh, and then we can implement conservation or kind of management strategies to, to kind of help um, protect those populations.